This is Pastor Samuel Wilson with a word for your Wednesday. I read this morning that it's going to be record-breaking heat this weekend. We are going to be well over 100 degrees. In light of that, everyone is trying to prepare, getting their ACs ready in their cars or in their home, making sure that their gardens are well watered so that their plants don't die. And we understand that there are hot days this year and there are more hot days coming. So we're readying ourselves for the heat. Spiritually, it's the same. There are hot days that come. And in Jeremiah chapter 17, verses seven to eight, we read about the one who is ready when the heat comes. Here's what we read. Verse seven, blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose trust is the Lord. For he will be like a tree planted by the water that extends its roots by a stream, does not fear when the heat comes, but its leaves will be green and it will not be anxious in a year of drought, nor cease to yield fruit. So first we start out by reading about the one who trusts in the Lord. To trust in the Lord is to have confidence in or find security in. And that one who trusts in the Lord is like a tree that's planted near the water. That word planted actually means transplanted, moved near the water, the place, the source that it needs in order to bear fruit and remain green. Then we read that the roots extend by that stream. The leaves will always be green, will not be anxious in the year of drought and will always bear fruit. So we think about that in terms of our own lives. The heat that comes in our lives, the hot days, the difficult days, that's what we need. We need to trust in the Lord. We need to be like that tree that's transplanted near the water, drawing from the water of God's word and understanding that we will remain green. We will bear fruit even in a year of drought. Even when the hot days come spiritually, we can continue to flourish. We know from John 15, five, that Jesus says when we abide in him, we will bear much fruit. Abiding is just remaining connected to that vine. He's the vine, we're the branches, we draw from him. And so I encourage you today, wherever you've been planted, that you would be transplanted near the water of God's word, near Jesus, that you would draw from him and you will remain green, you will bear fruit, even on the hot days, even on the difficult days. Draw near to him, I encourage you this day. Have a great week, God bless you.